Okay, I'm doing something kind of weird here, so I thought I would put together a little video to explain it because I asked around how to do it, some other experts, and they didn't know how to do it. So what we've done here is we've got a, a microwave and a stove that's on center on, on an angle. Now, all the designs say that you have to have a five inch filler on either side of the microwave to actually make this work. But I figured out a way to do it with three inch fillers. And what I did was I framed that wall behind it uh, about two inches back. So here's the crucial measurement. Point to point, finished wall. is 45 and 3 quarters. 45 and 3 quarters is my finished wall point to point. With that, you'll end up with 3 inch fillers. Now you also end up with a bigger cabinet on either side. You gain, you gain a cabinet size on either side because it comes in where, they, where the angles bisect. Alright, that's one thing we did. The other thing we did is they didn't have a 21 inch tall microwave cabinet. They only had an 18. <clears throat> so I wanted my light rail molding to come across here and I didn't want it to show, go ahead and lift it up a little bit. The way we ended up finishing it out, see the light rail molding dies right into it. Maybe pan around a little bit. It dies right into it, and the, and the light, we don't have to worry about, because otherwise we would have to try to return this back if this microwave was up three inches, and that would be seen, and it would be weird because it'd be open and the angles aren't really working. This way we dropped it down three inches, and the way we did that was uh, the screws that normally hold the microwave to the to the cabinet we screwed to a 2x4 so this 2x4 this first 2x4 is actually screwed to the top of the microwave then we put a 1x4 up in the recess to flush out the bottom and then this 2x4 is screwed to that 1x4 and also into the sides of the cabinet to make it a little strong we put a lot of screws in it um, then we have a 3 inch finished filler here but we ended up having to pop it out to actually install this because when you go up with the angle it just didn't work. So, but anyway, there's just three finished screws, trim head screws, right down there holding that filler in. So it's easy to pop in and out. So anyway, all we do now is just go ahead and push it up. They meet. We run those, uh, those are like four or five inch screws uh, that go through these two by fours. They're pre-drilled through all this to grab this lower screw. Um, so we've got those in there and that's pretty much it. That holds it up. Then we put our filler back in there, run our three trim head screws back in there to hold it, which uh, basically ends up looking like this. Except it's not actually touching, it's not in there, but it gives you an idea of what it's going to look like when we're done. So now, see that looks good, even with the filler. And it's not even attached, it's, you know, will be. Anyway, that's about it. So, wanted to show you the video. Don't forget the 45 and 3 quarters point to point on the wall and uh, the rest becomes pretty easy after that.